Hello YouTube, uh, we're gonna do today a video about replacing the battery in a MacBook Pro. This particular one, it's model number A1706. Um, it's the 2017 one, the one with the touch bar. Uh, so just gonna uh, show you how to replace the battery. Um, if you're wondering where I'm getting the batteries, Try Amazon, you'll find uh, plenty of them. Most of them will be a third party, not most of them, all of them will be a third party battery. Um, but they're as pretty much as good as the uh, Apple original one. You won't be able to find the Apple original battery brand new for this particular model, it is too old. Okay, so this is the battery that I ordered off eBay, it comes with the Pretty much everything you need, a set of gloves, microfiber cloth, you have this, uh, these are pretty much a couple of um, uh, a plastic battery removal tools, which I'm not going to be using, okay, or I can try it, but typically I have a different, I have a different tool for it. So you have also all the steps on how to do it. Uh, it shows you everything here and this is the battery itself. Okay, you have the suction cup, you have the, all the screwdrivers needed to open the computer. So pretty much everything you need you have in this kit. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to remove the battery this computer and how to replace it so let's let's open the back okay uh, you need a pantalobe screwdriver which it comes in this particular battery kit that I purchased uh, side note not all the batteries will come with all the things that you've seen in uh, in this particular one um, but most of them will include the screwdrivers okay and if i'm going to show you what to use if you don't have these plastic uh, plastic tools to remove the battery okay so i have all the screws removed uh, from the from the computer and now let me find my little tool Okay, I should have put it here before the start of the video. Okay, here we go. So, the way you open the back of this particular machine, you put a little pry tool right here. Don't push it too far inside of the computer. Okay, you might damage uh, internal components. So, and then you come right here towards the middle where you feel a little bit of a resistance. You just pop it up. You, you have to hear a click. Now we're gonna move to the other side and we're gonna do exactly the same thing. And then we hear the click. Click. And now we're gonna come on this side. Okay. After the click, we're gonna go on the bottom of the machine. We're gonna lift the bottom of it slightly. And now we're gonna pull towards us okay like that and like this okay so we have the back of the computer removed this will expose the battery now uh, first thing you have to do is remove this particular connector of the battery okay this will have to go out so we're gonna leave this tab and pull on this little cable so the battery is now disengaged and you also have one screw right there which we have to unscrew to remove the positive and the negative terminal okay so okay I'm gonna remove the screw and bend this tab just like that so right now the computer receives no power now we have to remove the connecting cable of the trackpad. So we have two screws here. 
let me find the right tip for the screwdriver <coughs> uh, that one you'll use a T4 okay so one two okay. remove those two little screws and we remove the metal holder we're gonna lift the connector just like that and slowly peel it off as is it glued on the battery and now we can work on removing the battery let's try the battery by the way it is glued to the bottom case so let's try this tool see how it is typically these are my tools which I'm using to remove the battery, but let's see how good these guys are. Okay, so start on any side you want. Okay, let's start on this side. You want to put it under the battery cells, just like that. And then slowly push onto it to release the glue. Now, I know many many places they will many not many places many uh, videos they show you how they put some sort of uh, alcohol under the battery uh, to kind of melt the glue make it easier for you to remove the battery i prefer not doing that because if the battery is somewhat uh, the, the, the if, if when you're trying to remove this and you have alcohol there you might cause a short circuit so I typically just like to do a little bit more work here but do it clean without any alcohol and I guess these guys work pretty decent you know not the best one out there so the reason I decided to do this is because, as I said, many of you guys won't have these tools on hand, so you have to deal with whatever it came in the packaging. Okay, slowly move it back and forth. The same process will have to be done even in the earlier uh, models the the ones without a touch bar it's exactly the same thing okay and in the 15 inch model it's almost the same over there though you'll have to remove the motherboard or couple screws on the motherboard so you can get the battery out on this one we don't have to fully remove the motherboard to get the battery out we'll have to remove couple screws though of the main board and I'll show you once we get to it okay now try not to put <coughs> too much pressure on the remember the, the screen will be facing down so you don't want to put too much pressure on the on the screen itself you don't want to crack it so the first cell of the battery is removed <coughs> you'll see <coughs> excuse me uh, you can see the adhesive right there so we're gonna put this a little bit don't bend it all the way you don't want to short that cable and we're gonna go for the next cell Take your time, don't really rush through the process. Okay, second one, it's off. Now we're gonna move to the ones on the other side. Okay, if uh, this tool gets messed up, 
it's nice of them that they included a brand new one so this one is still in a good shape and we're gonna do it from here let's back and forth a little bit of a pressure not that much pressure especially don't put the pressure on the computer itself as you don't want the screen to be damaged to get damaged okay, okay so you do the same way now I'm just gonna take one of my tools put it under as it is a little bit longer and it gives me a little bit okay. I don't have to put that much work on it okay. if you ask me where you get these tools uh, I got it into uh, Michaels it's uh, one of those uh, department stores where you can get arts and craft supplies these ones they're using it for painting I believe so so or mixing the paints or I'm not exactly sure what for they cost about five dollars each and I've been using it for years it's been just great tool to have again this guy the plastic one will work it's just more work and it's tougher on your hands but again with the plastic even if you damage the battery a little bit won't short anything whereas the metal if you put it the wrong way you might actually short the battery you might get a little bit of a smoke going so yeah use the plastic okay now the sides are gonna be a little bit easier to release than the middle one the one the middle cell and as you probably noticed apple loves to glue theirs everything in their computer is glued uh, okay, so these cells are removed now. Let's move to the middle one. This one is gonna be a little bit tougher. Okay, so. Make sure when you do that you don't damage this tab okay uh, the battery tab you don't have to worry about it because the new battery comes with a new connecting cable so okay side actually let's try this side yeah. now you have to be very careful with the, the trackpad cable if you know if this is on your in your way 
you can just drop the trackpad down so basically you can remove the trackpad without having to remove the battery first I'm gonna see how that's done actually I should show you that that's a little bit more complicated but it will save you from uh, the trouble of actually damaging that so you see you have here a couple of screws one two three four five six seven eight nine ten screws let's let's go ahead and remove those okay so we're gonna drop the trackpad typically don't do that I don't do that but actually it is better for you guys because if you damage this cable uh, you'll need to get a whole another one and then you're not gonna see that you damage it maybe until you already reapplied the new battery and then you're gonna go shoot now I have to remove the newly installed battery and replace my trackpad cable That and that's that. So right now, if I open the screen just like this, you will see the actual trackpad, which we're going to remove. Also, well, since you're using the plastic one, the chances of that to happen are minimal. But if you're using a metal pry tool, you might go too deep, and then you might knock some of these components of the trackpad and damage the trackpad. Okay, so we're gonna put that on the side. This is how the computer looks right now. You can see the battery on that side, so now you can work a little bit better okay don't close it because you might hit the screen you might damage the screen so keep it somewhat at an angle see where the pry tool goes in make sure that it goes in between the battery and this side of the computer you can even keep it like at an angle something like this like the 90 degree angle and work your way down there are there is no risk of damaging the screen like this okay i would actually recommend you to do it like this i'm gonna get a cloth because this tool is kind of cutting my cutting into my hand I'm almost down with it. Okay. And now we're gonna go from here a little bit. Also, keep it, don't close it. You don't wanna hit the screen. Keep it at an angle. Okay. It's not something that complicated, you just need patience. And as I said, it's better for you to actually remove the trackpad <clears throat> so you don't damage it and be very careful careful with the screen itself. Okay. I don't know if you see what I'm doing right now, but I'm just working my way down this guy on the back of the battery okay and now we can just pull on it slowly there is still a little bit of a glue left okay and here we go Boom. Okay. So the glue is released. Now, you will see 
that here there are two more screws which are holding the battery so we're gonna remove those <coughs> that's the circuit board of the battery gonna remove them put them on the side and you'll see that the cables are actually under the main board okay now this is a piece which is left here. Okay, let's just remove that. Okay. Now, we don't have to, as I said, you don't have to remove the whole motherboard to get that cables out, but you have to remove couple screws from the main board so we can lift the motherboard ever so slightly so we can we can take this piece out. Okay. Or, if you don't want to do that, you can, let's see, you can just push onto this plastic. Let me try to get a better angle. Okay. You see, this little piece of plastic here, which is glued, we can just kind of remove that. And then everything will come nicely, uh, will come out. So, let's... Let me show you, I'm a little bit lazy, so I'll show you how to remove this guy. So what I'm doing right now, that's it. Just took this little piece, pretty much we removed it from there, and now we don't have to remove any screws from the main board. This will just come right out. You see? That's what it is. <clears throat> now this piece here, it had one, two, three tabs, which were in there. We're not going to be able to reattach it. We can just use a double-sided tape, which Apple used in the first place. You can see right here. Uh, to just glue it back it does not really have any any purpose over there but other than to make your life is uh, your life miserable when you're trying to remove the battery that's that's all it does okay so we're gonna remove that double sided tape and we're gonna apply another one so that will stay there okay now for removing the leftover glue uh, you can either use a cloth with uh, some of the, some alcohol and rub it. You can use goo gun. I typically like to scrape it off. Okay, so I take one of these tools and I'm just scraping it just like this. Okay, I don't really like to put anything liquid inside of my computer. You see, just scrape that tape off. You do the same here. Okay. that's one of the exacto knives you can use a thinner one if you want to this just does the job faster the the thicker one okay so once you remove this you can also pull on it but it will break you know then you can use the goo gun uh, or alcohol to just remove these little uh, leftovers of the glue If you don't remove this one, the new adhesive, which all the batteries, all the batteries will come with the new adhesive, won't really hold. So the battery might move inside of your uh, of your laptop. Okay. Now on this side, be careful with the tool not to go into one of those holes and damage your screen. Okay. So slowly, no rush. You have <clears throat> you have all day to do this if you want to do it by yourself do it right don't rush through it okay. 
just do more. Okay. Let's try the peel off method, which is not going to work too well. Yeah. Uh, it kind of does. The results of this will depend greatly on how much of the glue you broke with uh, with those things. Sometimes, like on this one, it will come off completely like this. In some cases, it will just keep breaking off. Now we're gonna take we're gonna take a little bit of a paper towel, put a little bit of a goo gun on it, and just wash the last trace. So you can either put it here, be very careful if you put it there, couple drops, spread it evenly, okay over the glue. Okay, what works best here uh, is actually if you have a cloth, this is because the cloth has a little bit more, it's a little bit rougher than your napkin. Okay. So as I said, you can either put it directly onto this glue or put it on your cloth and then rub it off okay, and you see now you go with this and the glue you see how nice the glue just all the leftover will just peel right off we come with a napkin and we take it off don't worry if you see those marks there they will still stay okay they will be there it's a discoloration from the glue but when you go with the hand on top of it, it should feel it should feel absolutely smooth. Okay, just like this. If you don't have the goo gun, um, you can use alcohol. If you use a 90% one, that works best. Over the 70% one, it has a little bit more more power. Okay. Use whatever you have in your household. If you leave a little bit, don't really worry about that much, as the new glue will appear just fine. Now, if you use the goo gun, you will leave a little bit of a substance behind, which you're gonna clean afterwards with some alcohol. Okay? So. So I'm just gonna put gonna melt the glue right now just like that and then with the scraping part and we're gonna be almost ready to install the new battery Yeah, and this is not much different than previous models where the batteries were glued as well. It might look a little bit like a task, a little bit more complicated than actually it is. So, yeah, but if you, if you have the time, I would say try it. Okay. Just remember, um, actually I should have mentioned that in the very beginning of this video, uh, make sure you remove the trackpad because the chances are 
you you will damage it in the process okay so remove the trackpad first before you attempt to remove the battery i'm uh, i'm used with not doing it but again i'm doing this a little bit more often than you so i have a little bit more experience but again this is an instructive video so take all the i should tell you to take all the necessary precautions okay so all the glue is removed now we're gonna take a clean napkin and we're gonna put some alcohol on it just to clean this uh, uh, it's like a film that the uh, adhesive remover leaves uh, it's a little bit slimy so I'm just gonna clean it up just like this the surface should feel completely dry and smooth before you do the new battery This is just your regular isopropyl alcohol. Again, I don't have in the shop a 90%, all I have is a 70%, but uh, if you get the 90, then pretty much you don't have to do the goo gun thing. That is your remover, and the 90% will just melt right through the glue. Okay. Okay. Surface is nice and clean. I'm gonna dry it off with another cloth. Make sure there's no alcohol left over. And you can let it air dry as well if you wish. Now we're gonna remove the new battery from its packaging. And I'm gonna show you the back of the battery. You see that's where the uh, adhesive is located okay and make sure it's the same one yes sir exactly the same type of battery now let's just push it let's just push those contacts under the main board first okay so we're just going to have to lift the contact board to go over place where the screws go okay and this one will go just like this and boom it's inside right it is now <clears throat> we're gonna put these two screws first the one first they hold the battery in place and aligned okay Make sure it's properly aligned there. And you're gonna ask me, hey, you forgot to put this one. I didn't forget to put it. I just don't consider it's necessary to put it, but okay, for the sake of the video, we'll do it. Let's, uh, let's put, let me find that adhesive, double-sided tape. Then it's more stuff for you guys to buy. You need to get yourself a double-sided tape. So I would say skip, skip this guy entirely, but for the sake of the video, we'll do it right now. So let me just cut the right size tape, find the end of it, and okay. And this. 
this should be the length of it. Okay. And apply this onto the back. This guy. this peel it off okay and now we can put this guy back right there okay <clears throat> now we can remove the back, the adhesive of the battery, right? So we're gonna bend it slightly. Remove this tab, and we're gonna remove the adhesive backing of the battery. Okay, make sure you center it right okay you can remove partially this film okay and make sure it's properly aligned if it's a little bit crooked don't worry that much okay i'm gonna do the middle part because then it's gonna be hard to do it well let's do the middle i'm gonna remove the top film Completely. Excuse my head in the picture, but I need to see what I'm doing. Okay, so you can push it down a little bit, not too hard, not to damage the screen. And you wonder why I'm yapping about the screen, because the screen is so sensitive in these models. You have no idea. It's very, very, very sensitive. Now, what's the next step? The next step is put this guy back in, right? Now, when you remove it, you might, you might see that there are some you see right here some washers uh, if you find a washer on your desk it's from these two screws okay so we're gonna go from underneath we're gonna lift this one up just like this and hold it with one hand pull the cable through okay and align the holes you can clearly see it and you should feel this going in okay now without closing the lid you'll take the two screws which they have the white uh, the white uh, you see has a little bit of a thread locker which is white those goes uh, in the first two holes on the bottom holes right here so we're gonna put those two screws, we're not gonna tie it off, we're not gonna tie it, we're just gonna put it there so it holds the trackpad. So we can safely close the computer. So we're gonna put the first two ones, okay. And then we're gonna take the screws which they have the blue thread locker, and we're gonna put two in the end, okay. Again, do not tie it. Tighten it, not tight, tighten it completely. Tight, what the heck? So yeah, do not tighten it. Okay. Now, we can turn it upside down. And then we can play with aligning, you see, because the trackpad moves a little bit, so we're going to align it after we do everything here. But for now, we'll leave it like that. Okay, now we're gonna put the contact of the battery 
So the big screw goes through right here. Okay. Then we're gonna take the trackpad, push it down, don't wiggle it. We're gonna put this guy on top, the retention clip, and I have to change the tip. gonna align this cable okay it still has glue on it if it doesn't it's fine you don't have to worry about it and now we're gonna take the contact of the new battery and slide it right there okay then we're gonna turn on the computer now everything is set up we just have to put the remaining screws of the trackpad but let's try make sure the battery is actually working okay now you see when you turn on the computer like this it doesn't start from the very beginning okay you will press the power button and you say oh what's going on my computer is not turning on why is that first because you have to plug in the charging cable now the battery should have come with about uh, about 50% charge okay and here we go the computer started right up okay so battery was successfully replaced uh, we're gonna remove the charger I just I'm curious to see how much charge this particular battery came with So it has 69%. So if I'm removing the if I'm removing the cable, the computer should stay on. And here we go. The computer reads on on battery power. Okay. So we are going to shut off the computer right now. We're going to align the trackpad. <clears throat> and then we're gonna close the back of the machine and we can consider that this was a successful repair done entirely by you okay with a little bit of help but that's why youtube is there not only to see cat videos and funny videos but actually to teach you how to do stuff which you were not you didn't know how to do it or you didn't have the guts to try it because you thought it's overly complicated when it actually it isn't again i'm not tightening the screws just yet until i make sure that the trackpad is in the right position okay so let's just shut it off Okay, computer. Now, make sure that all the lines are pretty much like you see the same spacing in all, all over. Okay. And once you think that you have it in the right position, then you're just going to hold it. Okay. Hold it with your fingers. Make sure it doesn't move. Turn the computer the other way. And tighten tighten the first two screws on the bottom and then tighten the screws on the back like that is not going to go anywhere we're gonna double check it it seems fine and now we can tighten the rest of the screws don't over tighten it just you know and that was it ladies and gentlemen 
All we have to do is put the back back on, which we do it in this way. So you'll notice that there are some retaining clips right here. Those will have to go underneath, so you go at an angle, right? Many people, they don't know how to do it, even professional ones. I've opened computers and they were not put up correctly. You have to go just like this, okay? To this point, and then you put your finger there and there, and you just push it, one there and one here. Now it's aligned. We're gonna put the screws, so the two big screws, they go right here by the hinges on the top. Okay. The other ones, they go on the bottom. And one more thing you have to do after you tighten up the screws. Sure, right now you're gonna open the lid. Okay. Remember, there were those tabs which they popped in the very beginning. We're gonna open it up like that and press it boom and boom. Right now, it's perfectly set. Okay, so that was the video for today. I hope, uh, I, I hope you found it uh, useful. Uh, if you did find it useful, um, please uh, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, uh, like the video, why not? And until next time, take care of yourself, be safe, and see you next time. Okay, take care.